Hello guys, today I am going to explain you about the construction practices involved in G plus 3 flats and design of slab and beam. The aim of my presentation is to briefly discuss about the building construction, test performed and design and recommendation for the future progress. These are the some contents. A three story residential building have two parts, the substructure and the superstructure. These are the some main objectives of my project. The first objective of the project is to provide proper housing for all community. Secondly, to save wastage of land as well as energy resources. To ensure quality of the materials by performing various tests on materials. To make study about the guidelines of the design for beam and slab according to the relevant IS codes. And Lastly, to design the slab and beam for the room by limit state method. These are the some project brief which you can refer about the area and the height. Uh, the site recommend the site reconnaissance has been made. We have observed the location of the site. Site is west and north face. Identified the access to the site. Measure length and the breadth. And earth filling was not required. And, and hence in any project uh, organization structures is needed which involve the managing director at the top and under whom the project manager and administration take the position and under the project manager the zonal in charge and the site engineer and under the administrator the accountant and junior accountant came now these are the some job responsibilities followed by us or anybody else in any project construction And this is the grand chart which shows the progress of the project through the dates which includes all the activities done during the project. You can see the front view of Astra and Clay which consists of three floors. And these are the some major materials used in any construction work that is steel, concrete, cement, brick, aggregate and admixtures. Two types of cements were used in our project that is ordinary Portland cement and Portland Pozzolana cement. M25 grade concrete is used in our project as concrete should be of good quality. Uh, now coming to the brick used, these are the major building blocks of any building. Uh, first class brick was selected and English bond was ensured and it was held for curing of 14 days. You can see the English English bond has been made. Uh, the ratio of the concrete was 1 ratio 2 ratio 4 is used for the construction of beams and slab. Because this ratio has a good strength and is recommended for the construction of the slab. For RCC ceiling surface proportion was 1 ratio 4. Brick wall surface proportion was 1 ratio 5. These are some aggregates used in any construction as it occupies 70 to 80 percent of the volume of the concrete that is natural aggregates and artificial aggregate natural aggregate consists of sand and gravel artificial aggregates such as broken bricks air cooled slag and fly ash etc these are classified on the two bases coarse aggregate used and fine aggregate used uh, this is a major constituent in any construction work that is water the pH value should lie between 6 to 8. These are some admixtures used so that there should be increase in the workability of the concrete. Plasticizers and super plasticizers such as calcium, sodium and ammonium lingosulfates were used. And various admixtures for damp proofing was also used. You can see the slab reinforcement has been done with electrical pipe fittings. You can see here the timber shuttering has been provided as well as the steel shuttering is also provided and through the mechanical vibrator the slab is casted out so that the, there should no bleeding in the concrete. In our project there were some problems identified by us uh, and suggestions these are the some suggestions given by our team which are accepted by the higher authority in the company. 
no construction is perfect some fault may be occur in any construction work and there are the two major problems which i have, we have faced in our construction work due to bleeding and due to improper support in shuttering you can see how the bleeding occurs and what are the effects of uh, improper support in the slab and coming to the various tests performed on the materials for their quality assurance test performed the soil was liquid limit and plastic limit you can see the liquid limit and plastic limit apparatus present here and we have got the average value 31.50 for liquid limit and average value for plastic limit was 21.16 and these are the field tests for the cement and you can see the table referring to the field test of the cement and uh, these are the tests performed on the concrete slum cone test for the freshened concrete and compression test for the hardened concrete you can see a true slump here and the cube held for curing and we have got the average compressive strength of the cube 77.67 newton per mm square and there were two tests performed on the aggregates bulking of aggregate and flakiness elongation for the aggregates and tables are here the average value of the bulking of sand was 30.5 percent and flakiness and elongation index has been calculated in percent you can see 35.2 percent and 41.4 percent for flakiness and elongation respectively and these are the two tests performed on the brick water resorption test and compressive strength of the brick coming to the table we have got absorption value in percent was 9.04 which is a good and you can see the compressive strength of the brick these are the five brick samples held for compression test we have got 107 as average compression strength now coming to the design design this is the plan showing a ground floor having four apartments these are some silent features of the project uh, various code books were used during the design that is IA456-2000 and IA875-1-2-3 these are some materials used for the design of the slab and firstly we have checked that it is two way slab or one way slab and hence we have got it is two way slab an effective span was calculated you can see the plan and section which show the dimension of the slab and depth and load calculation was done from the IS code books and ultimate design moments and shear force was calculated now it is calculated for area and spacing of the steel and we have a ruptured spacing 250 mm now we have checked it for the shear force and it came ok and corner reinforcement was done which is done so that the beam should not uplift up the corners and crack control is done so that uneven distribution of load can be done on the slab coming to the design of the beam this is the some specifications of the beam and these are the materials used for the beam you can see we are having a long span and a short span ly and lx respectively and on the ly portion we have got trapezoidal load distribution and on lx we have got triangular load distribution and we have the uh, through this we have calculated the loads and uniform distribution loading was done of 39.5 kN per meter RA and RB was calculated and we have calculated the factor bending moment and we got the beam singly reinforced and from interpolation value we have got the area of percentage of the steel that is 0.331% and it is checked for the shear stress which came safe and hence we have drawn some conclusions from our project work that is durability of the building depends mainly upon the proper construction process and proper use of materials tests were performed on the various materials used was successfully done designs of slab and beam 
was done manually and executed successfully and these are the some recommendation made by us for the future progress thank you hope you understand